all the action once again coming to you inside the Trigon. I think this is a very interesting style of way a fighter has been around for neons since the 1930s. Has been in a lot of backyard fighting from the, you know Miami, Florida. Now they're pushing into the pro level because I do believe they want people to get away from the pro boxing due to the fact it's becoming too money orientated and too much of a pretty boy style thing. Want to bring back the manly man of it all, but they have women doing this as well. But nonetheless, let's check this out. This is a good fight. Little things, uh, you know, irritate things like that just to get him sparked up because I don't fight with a emotion, I'm very calm. That motherfucker scared as hell right now. He don't want to fight me. That's why he's been talking shit about me, trying to discredit me. And then, but he hates my guts at the same time. If I don't like you, I gotta, I want to show you. You know what I'm saying? That smack was so unexpected. I did not expect it to come that strong and foul. <laughs> it should have been on the SmackDown. Hey, man. 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 Cub Hawkins is the savage. He is four and oh. His opponent is Ryan Jett. This fight scheduled for six three-minute rounds for the BYB Light Heavyweight World Championship. The fight is set to continue. Ladies and gentlemen, the wait is over. This is your main event of the evening. Six three-minute rounds for the BYB Light Heavyweight By Mike Browner Law. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. Please welcome the Trigon, Ryan Jett. Now, Ryan Jett, really good fighter, strong fighter, knows how to use the ring to his advantage. This is what I like about looking at this particular fighter. But I think that sometimes when cocky fighters get their first digs on at the weigh-in, I think it kind of diminished their momentum in the ring. Personally, I think that smack was going to uh, really unravel Jet's plan to go in there and do some damage to Hawkins because it made Hawkins the underdog. And I think that a lot of people like to favor the underdog to get that smack back one way or another. And also the guards. The guards like to favor the underdogs too. That's why a lot of underdogs usually win fights when you don't expect them to win. Now, Cub Hawkins, on, to me, is a, a different type of fighter. He doesn't wear his emotional on the sleeves. With the sneak smack from Ryan Jett really showed me that Ryan has emotional issues. He does not know how to hold his composure when it comes to taking the energy and putting it inside the ring. Now, Hawkins knows how to use his energy, strategizing very smartly in the ring, which, to me, why Ryan better be very careful with that because actually that smack made him the underdog, Hawkins the underdog to what's possibly going to come to Jet in this particular fight right here. And a fighter like Hawkins, you have to be very smart. You have to be very targeted. You have to watch his fights to really win against him because he's a very smart, intelligent type of fighter. He's one of those type of fighters you don't want to meet inside one of these type of short rings at all because he knows what he's going to do he knows how he's going to handle it he's not going to get emotional he's not going to get upset he's going to take his licks he's going to come back stronger than ever before it gets good let's check it out ladies and gentlemen this is your main event of the evening for byb 25 the brawl on the bay scheduled for six three minute rounds it is for the byb light heavyweight Championship of the world. So, Tampa, Florida, I need you all to get up out of your seats, raise your drinks high, and get wild. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks with silver and gold trim. He stands five feet. Next.
Okay, Ryan Jett looks very relaxed, very theatric. The stand, the Rocky Balboa shirt on, his corner man got on. He's got his hands above the robe. He's got his legs crossed. He's ready to get at Hawkins. I hope he does the job. I hope he comes in with that fire, the same smack he gave Hawkins at the uh, weigh-in. And we're going to see what's going to happen here. It looks interesting, though. Let's go. And his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks with white and red trim. He stands five feet, eight inches tall. He weighed in at 174.6 pounds. He holds a perfect, undefeated, bare knuckle record of four victories versus no defeats. And he fights out of Madison, Wisconsin, by way of Chicago, Illinois, introducing the current reigning Police Gazette Diamond 185 pound champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Cub the Savage Hawkins! Our referee in charge of this championship main event, Wayne Spinola. Come here, Cub. All right, gentlemen, relax. We're not starting yet. You guys know the rules. Obey my commands at all times, protect yourselves at all times. If you want to now, shake hands. All right, guys, step back. I'll get you in a minute. Right over there, bro. Hold up, Wayne did offer the opportunity yeah. to shake hands. I had a feeling they weren't going to take nah, it. No, no, no. And Jed has not ha taken his eyes off of Hawkins since he got into the Trigon. I mean, the entire introductions, Jed didn't even react when right, they announced his own name. Back. Watched Leave Hawkins get introduced and, 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 and jump up and down. And just Fight. has had his eyes on him the whole time. And here we go. Cub Hawkins in the black trunks. Black and yellow for Charlotte, North Carolina's Ryan Jett. Goalie, well, that's your one. Right? It is, go. but you know. <laughs> just a little, just a little the bell, more the bell rang on me while I was yeah. talking. No? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> jab with the jabber can, hook with the hooker. I'll, yeah, I'll use one yeah, of your lines, Paul. Yeah, <laughs> Not one one. Definitely goalie. The, the bell rang on me while I was trying to describe <laughs> it. Here we go. Switch of a stance shown by Cub Hawkins. Stop, 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 stop. Don't push off. Don't Closing push off. the distance is Ryan Jett. Yeah, he closed that distance real fast, but... And that's what Cub talked about. He's expecting that. So will Cub utilize his wrestling, or will he utilize some footwork and length? Time will tell. Hawkins throws big power. Yeah, both guys, both guys really letting it go. Good defensive maneuvers from both guys so far. Break clean, back up. Ryan Jed, two-time fight of the night up. winner. Thank you. Cub fight. Hawkins, four and O oh, inside the Trigon. Stop. Round clean, one, back back title up. fight scheduled for six. Fight. A lot of posturing, trying to yeah set that set that big shot up. But both guys have big power. Good shots here landed from Hawkins. Jet just kind of brings the chin up and says, all right, that didn't hurt me. Yeah, he caught, him with, it. caught him with the uppercut. I think Jeb ducked into one. Jet in the corner. Hawkins trying to keep him there. Ryan Jet looking to connect as well. Jet's good defensive instincts as well, though. Jet's got his head moving when he was stuck in that corner. Didn't take anything too clean. And fast hands. On display again by Ryan Jett and a nice jab to open that one up. Yeah, counter right hand there from Hawkins on the inside, though. Yeah, both guys have a good sense of timing, so it's oh! a good hook there. Yep, mouthpiece out. Flurry by Cub Hawkins. Yeah, Jared blows a hold on there. I was just going to say, both guys have a good sense of timing, so there's a little bit of hesitation in leading for both guys. They're both... Very good natural counter punches and very athletic as well. Yeah, here we go. Ready? Fight. That was a mouthpiece. Smile on the face Jet. of Hawkins. Jet has, expression from Jet. Jet has the same expression on his face as the, when the fight started, or even before the fight. Right. <laughs> Doesn't matter if the fight's actually going on, he still has the same look on his face. Talk about poker face. Hawkins has landed some power this round. And finishes in the clinch. One in the books in our title fight. 
a bare knuckle boxing for me, I have to say I do like it, but it's still a no because I find myself being bored and jaded because I see two great athletes in the ring throwing just a bunch of punches, no style, no techniques. They may have worked hard to get to this point, but I find this to be still street level style, just with camera, referee, lights, and action. That's all you really see. But when you look at pro boxing, there's so many key factors that go into pro boxing, several key factors, actually. You're looking at safety, skill levels, overall sport itself, the history of building a uh, structured athlete, a high skill level athlete to come into the ring and take down another opponent. And that really brings in the technique development leading to a more refined approach and striking with the defense and making you love that particular athlete, giving you the state of the art of showmanship. You know, styles makes fights. And this is what I don't see here. I think this is not going to last long, but we'll see. Anyway, let's get back to it. Round two main event. Thank you. Ready? Cub in the black trunks, black and yellow for Ryan Jett. Southpaw stance for Cub Hawkins. Hawkins in that southpaw stance now, man. Yep. Watch your fingers, guys. Again, you see neither guy really jumps off the gun. Oh, good right hand there from and Cub from acknowledged him. See, they both go from zero to 100. They're both yeah. natural counter punches. As soon as one goes, the other one's trying to time and take the advantage. Flurry by Ryan Jett. Oh, oh, and a big punch lands for Jett. I think Jett threw the shorter shot there because yeah. Hawkins, I think, also was throwing at the same time. Now Ryan Jett. I just had to add this to rock and sock them. This is exactly what I get when I'm watching this. Cub switches back to Southpaw. And, and Jet goes into the Southpaw stance himself, Goldie. Yep. Well, for a second, anyway. <laughs> back to the right hand stance. Again, here's that waiting. Again, he tends to go from 0 to 100 here. Now both guys in the right hand stance. That waiting is the mutual respect of the power and the speed that both men possess. See here, they, I think I feel like he, both guys should be dropping feints there. Oh, good shot there from Jet off of the initial drop step feint. That's what I was gonna say, when when you got two counter punches in there, a lot of times you gotta try to get an initial move. You see a little bit of a warning here at the push. I told you, I told you, no push it off. Yes, you did, you did, yeah, you did. Okay? Don't do it again, because he's going to retaliate. I'm going to warn him not to do it. No more. Wayne Spinola said, don't do it again. You are warned. Yeah, warning for both guys. Yeah. I feel like here, when they're both going to come out now, they're going to both go out and come out and probably get into a posture. The, the better feint here may draw a false move that one guy can take advantage of. But both guys have a counter-punching instinct, so the feinting is what generates the counter-punching opportunity. See, there's an attempt to feint yep. here by Hawkins. Oh, good right hand there from Hawkins. Man, Jack walked right into that one. Cobb was looking to set up the uppercut. Good footwork in avoidance by Ryan Jett. Both men with a ton of athleticism. And again, a straight punch yeah. sends Hawkins to the ropes. Strong jab. Yep, from Jett. It's the second one this round, Paul. Yeah. Light heavyweight belt on the line. Jet is oozing blood, though. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Jet, that one, that one, that that one, one changed the facial expression of Jet. Yes. Jet felt that one. Now Jet is going back. We have not seen a facial expression from Jet change. Jet, Jet writhed in pain after that one. Yep. And he's back on the corner now. And now Cub Hawkins looking to finish it right here, right now. Jet has a good head movement in the corner a lot of times. Trying to survive, staying in it. Ryan Jett and Sam Liera was a fight that was, like, Ryan Jett was a mess, but it went to distance. And this round comes to conclusion. Uh, once again, I thought it was a good round, this one. Uh, I thought the round was uh, a little bit more cohesive to what I wanted to see in a fight, but still had a lot of rock'em sock'em. You guys like my uh, little rock'em sock'em clip I threw in there? But anyway, nonetheless, the point is, is that, 
uh, this is a good round for Hawkins. Hawkins really, uh, really hurt uh, Jed at this point. Jed did come back with a couple good flurries of thrones and got some lucky shots in. But still, Hawkins came in with some power. He uh, came in. He's ready. You could tell he see the blood. Now he's starting to really be more effective in his punching power. And I think this is where we're going to see a little bit of more of a state-of-the-art style of fighting. But yet and still, I still give it that rock and sock and flavor. But I tell you one thing for sure. Jed better come back and do some damage. But I don't think he is. I think Hawk is going to continue and going in doing that work that he needs to get Jed out of there. Plus, he's still embarrassed about what took place. So this is going to get interesting. He felt something. And, that, and again, Jed had not changed his facial expression since the introductions. You see the mouse under the right eye of Ryan Jet. Our title fight continues. Round number three. Yeah, and that's where he got hit. You start to wonder if there could be corporal fractures or not. With the expression, I thought maybe he had busted his nose, but with that swelling, I agree with you, Paulie. Cobb very intelligent right now, not rushing in where Ryan Jett can get one away. Oh, it changed the beat of this fight. Uppercut just glazed by Cub Hawkins. Jet still has that winning mentality. He's not trying to, he's still nope. trying to throw hurtful punches, but Hawkins has those raises. You know, Jet may have that winning mentality, but I tell you one thing, you can see how he's jumping all over the place. No punches are landing. The emotional attitude have actually stepped into the punching power with him now. Now he's lost all hope to really win it against Hawkins. And Hawkins is still on the game plan. You can tell he's still got the floor plan of his game plan to get Jet out of there. Jet have lost all hope. Now he's just punching hopefully to get some shots in. He has the power to really get Hawkins out of there. But again, his emotional really is going to wear him out in this particular fight between Hawkins. I think it's a good fight. It's getting interesting right, right now. Will it last be interesting? We'll see. Let's go. Change there from both guys. And the athleticism of both men is on display as well. Yep. The explosiveness, the power, the strength, and the break by Wayne Spinola. Midway point around three. Jet is trying his best to keep Hawkins in that corner. Ducked under by Ryan Jett. One minute on the clock, round three. Bloody bruise, far from beaten. Ryan Jett, Cub Hawkins. Again, he's that po posing. We're looking for faints here. Yep. We're looking for faints here. Neither guys. Looks, you saw some small faint attempts from Jett, but this is. We're both guys looking for the other guy to make the first move, but you got to draw it out with some feints. Jet attempts another one there. Hawkins, quick hook. And again, powers forward. Nasty uppercut. And again, you see Jet's defense when he's stuck. Uh, also, yep. not taking any clean shots. The shots are landing at times. There's some grazing shots, but both guys have a good defense, and they do get, get stuck up, get up against the corners. That Jet's complaining about headbutts. He's, he comes in with his head, but a lot of blood on the on the face of Jet. And I am wondering if there is an orbital fracture yeah. under that right eye of, of Jet. And blood coming out of the nose of Cub Hawkins as well. Wayne Spinola makes sure nothing happens after the bell. Okay, let's talk about it. I don't even know how to call the fist throwing episodes that we do see in here. But we do see some action. We see some blood. And we see Jet blood. Uh, to me, I think Jet, once again, is uh, losing due to the fact that he's just too emotionally invested in his own head. And if he get out of his head, I think he can win against Hawkins. But at this point, we don't know. We got to see. But I think Hawkins is more relaxed. He's more refined and understanding his own game plan. This is why he's starting to really take momentum in getting Jet out of there. Plus, I think that Jet is just too far gone in his own head and he lost his own plan how to get Hawkins out of there. Once again, I still think Jet is a more strong opponent. He's a more faster and quicker. He's just too invested into his head. Let's get back to this. Our main event of the evening. Cub Hawkins, Ryan Jet. Let the doctor check out Jet. Jet's already complaining. He wants to keep fighting. 
But you, you got to keep an eye on that eye. There you She's trying to see if you can see her fingers. And there's a lot, not only a lot of swelling, but the, the threat of an orbital fracture is there with that kind of swelling. Brian Jett was a mess after Sam Liera. He's busted up, but far from beaten here. As we reach round number four, black trunks for Cub Hawkins, black and yellow for Ryan Jett. Quick hands against the ropes thrown by both men. And blood just pouring out of the nose of Jett as well. Yeah, but he's still going. He's still getting, he still has that winning mentality as both guys are battling. As much of the back and forth that we saw in the, the bad blood quote unquote, both these men are savages, plain yeah. and simple. Oh, absolutely, and you know, this was one we were really looking forward to yeah. this fight. You know, we, we knew this fight would have, was gonna be a good one. Which is why it's our main event. Sharp right hand there from Jet. Hawkins though, keeps that positioning. Or a sharp, strong jab on the inside from Hawkins as he closes the gap. And keep in mind that 4-0, and oh, Cub Hawkins had never worked out of the first round. Yeah. And now we're in the fourth. Nobody survived round one before tonight against Cub Hawkins. I'll tell you what, he's low. He's, he may not have gotten the first round stoppage, but he's still pushing for that stoppage. As Jed is more, more and more damaged goods, but you're not going to mentally take Jed out of the fight. You may physically take him out of the fight, but he's still going to be looking to throw hurtful shots. Sharp right hand there from Jet. Hawkins undaunted though, man. He is yeah. so calculated in his attack. And got a very high Trigon IQ. Those ropes are splattered with blood. <laughs> Look at the ropes behind Hawkins. Yeah, man. they are splattered with blood. Sharp hook from Ryan Jett. Glances off the shoulder of Cub Hawkins. 60 seconds on the clock now, here in round four. Big shots from Hawkins. Dirty boxing. I can't even tell it. Oh, sharp, strong right hand to Jet. From Hawkins, and he, I mean, he's got Jet a little bit. In eighth grade, a high school coach told Cub Hawkins he was mentally weak. That was the last day I think Cub Hawkins was mentally weak. Trying to finish it right in right field. Like Hawkins battles these kind of demons every single time in there. He has that rage, and you can see that inner rage. The savagery that comes out, and here it is right now. He is trying to overwhelm a very tough Ryan Jet. And I think that for the camera, with some Jet sharp the head style and some technique, I think that Hawkins would have been the one on the ropes, hanging on to the ropes like that with all the blood all over the place. But nonetheless, I mean, Hawkins came in there, did his thing. He stuck with the blueprint. He didn't get his emotional side. He never let his emotional side get the best of him. He knew what he was going to do to Jet once he got into the ring. He understood his assignment very well. His blueprint was well managed. He did not allow himself to get emotional unravel even though he did get hurt a few times he laughed it off he went right back to the game plan unfortunately jet thought he can go in there throw a bunch of rabbit punches hopefully to get one landed just to get hawkins out of there it didn't work for him it was a mess for him and as you see he lost his fight to me i think that jet is could be a good fighter but he have to get out of his own head to win against somebody like Hawkins or anybody for that matter because I think this would be his seventh loss if I'm not mistaken but nonetheless let's see what they're saying let's go oh they're gonna fight again ho ho Okay, let's talk about it. Great fight, I think. It was pretty cool. I liked it. It just gave me uh, the momentum of a rock'em, sock'em, roll by style of fighting. I think there was too much repetitiveness in the fight between these two opponents. I think that's bare knuckle fighting, period, all around. It's just as many fists can be thrown, as many fists you can get in, maybe get that lucky shot in. It could happen. But if this round would have taken place, I think that 
Hawkins would have taken Jet Eye home as a souvenir, and I think it would have been the end of it. But hey, this has been Knuckle Boxing. Anything that goes, Cobra I thought. Hawkins but nonetheless, I is found the BYP light heavyweight world champion. I don't know. It depends. I mean, I've seen other uh, bare knuckle boxing uh, matches that I do like. I do want to speak on two girls, uh, but I got to look at it entirely to make sure if it's worth speaking on. But nonetheless, I do find this to be a little bit repetitive. Do you guys find it to be repetitive every time they come out to fight? I mean, you may catch a couple of small styles of techniques of boxing, but nonetheless, it goes right back to that rock and sock. I'm hoping to get that lucky shot in. Guys, let's talk about it. Leave your comments below. On that note, I'm glad to be back. We have a new mic. Gonna work on this mic a little bit better, but nonetheless, Leave your comments below. Let's talk about this. This is interesting. On that note, boom!